What's up and welcome to Renthusiast, my newly rebranded channel. Um, I have decided to rename the channel to better align with the types of interests I have and the type of content uh, that's going to be on here and that has been on here for quite some time. That's air cool Porsche contents. Anyway, I'm coming to you from my 95993 uh, and I'm parked out front of my air cooled mechanic shop uh, where I'm going to pay a little visit to my 86 uh, Carrera Coupe. Uh, I took this coupe up to the mountains to an air-cooled Porsche event last weekend, um, and I was around 55 air-cooled Porsches, which inspired me to make some changes to my car. Uh, so right now I've got the car uh, in the shop, and uh, Charles is working on it. He is putting on a, a dual center ex exit exhaust setup um, that actually came with the car when I bought it. My seller had uh, put the car back to stock but he included the exhaust with the sale so i figured hey let's go ahead and put that on there i think it's going to be loud <laughs> uh, i've also got him putting on the wevo classic uh, shift kit uh, as well as taking care of a couple maintenance items so i'm going to get a new distributor cap uh, i believe and also going to take care of a leak so we're going to go inside here let you kind of get an update on that and this video will set the stage for uh, the new exhaust review video as well as the video uh, showing my impressions of the Wevo Classic. So uh, let's walk in here and see what we can't learn. What's up Greg? Hey Will. How's it going back here? Pretty good. How you doing? You, uh, have you figured out this puzzle yet? Yeah. yeah. Pretty straightforward? Yes. Yeah, uh, you can see where I can Got the uh, engine support all back there, and this AC bracket, and you can see that uh, right there where that's been leaking, and then there's a little bit coming down out of the uh, crankshaft seal. You know where all that's wet? That's where you're getting that oil dripping off that uh -huh. pipe over here. Okay. And you know I've already changed the pipes. I've already did the uh, plumbing on it. You know, got the crossover pipe in the rear. And then the oil line going back over to the oil thermostat. So do you feel like, are we missing any parts? No, uh, there's a couple pieces in here. I don't think they're gonna go with this. Mm -hmm. Like this bracket here and these pieces here. These appear to be something for uh, maybe air conditioning, mm -hmm. you know, where they converted the AC on this car. Yeah. You know, cause you got lug nuts and license plate lights and stuff like that. So it's just, you know, a couple miscellaneous brackets and pieces that, you know, yeah. don't go with the exhaust. Cool. Well, I like that so, you got this going you have, on. Yeah. Uh, then your disturber cap and rotor button, you know, cap is just all carbon tracked into the rotor buttons all burnt up. Mm. You know, the plugs look good. So we're going to, you know, reuse the plugs and I have no problem with that. Um, and then your air filter. Yeah, we got a new air filter for it. yours. It's the old one. Yeah, this is the old one. If you look down inside of it, you see all the dirt. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and put a new air filter in it. But the compression, this is what I got. And I ran it twice before I wrote the numbers down. Awesome, he had called me with this. Yeah, and number three, is the only one, um, you know, but you're still within 10%. So, you know, you might have a little bit of a tight valve, mm -hmm. you know, which a loose valve is better than a tight because a tight valve is not gonna close all the way. So overall, you feel like this is healthy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, so you got 80,000 on it right now, you know, 90,000, um, you're gonna be looking at, you know, adjusting the valves because the valves are every 15,000. Okay. So overall, like your opinion is that it's pretty clean. Everything's good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah everything's looking good. Okay. So there you have it. Um, you know, I've taken some flack from some of the viewers out there about my uh, lack of mechanical um, know-how and, you know, it just is what it is. So I kind of understood some of what he was sharing. Um, some of it I really didn't and that's okay. You know, you pay the experts to do what it is they do. Uh, I just enjoy driving these cars and experiencing the, these cars. I'm not much of a mechanic. So uh, anyway, if you've liked this video, if you're into air-cooled Porsche content, Porsche 911 content in general, I urge you to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I hope to see you next time. <music>